Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers, from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother, Flowers, Part 5, from Sri Aurobindo, Disciple. We normally see your force working in us as a pale blue light, and the Mother's force working as a white light, but today I saw a red-colored force working in me, red like a lotus flower. Was this your force too? Sri Arminu, it must have been a special force working. The blue light is the characteristic force, as the white is of the mother. But we are not limited to that. The other forces, and therefore the other lights, are also ours. 24th November, 1933 Disciple This question of mother's knowledge became even more interesting for me today. She gave me the flower signifying discipline. I began to wonder why this particular flower was given. Then I remembered that yesterday I had not observed the right discipline by taking a little hot kichari with Y and Z. Sri Arbindo, in this respect, the mother is guided by her intuitions, which tell her which flower is needed at the moment or helpful. Sometimes it is accompanied by a perception of a particular state of consciousness, sometimes by that of a material fact, but only the bare fact. Usually, uh, that is, it would not specify that it was hot kitchery that was cooked or how Y or Z came in. Not that that is impossible, but it is unnecessary and does not happen unless needed. Anyway, please tell me how far Mother and you know about our physical, material affairs. Sri Aurobindo. In this case, it was a general hint with no special reference to Kitchen. 16 July 1935. It, the white water lily, is the Mother's flower, the flower of divine consciousness. 15-4-1933 Disciple Why is the flower symbolizing your compassion so delicate? And why does it wither away so soon? No, the compassion does not wither with its symbol. Flowers are the moment's representation of things that are in themselves eternal. 9 August 1936 From Savitri, a few lines. Helping with confident steps her slow great hands, he leaned to her influence like a flower to rain, and like the flower and tree a natural growth, widened with the touches of her shaping hours. At first, her glance, that took life's million shapes, impartially to people its treasure house, along with sky and flower and hill and star, dwelt rather on the bright, harmonious scene. Love dwells in us, like an unopened flower, awaiting a rapid moment of the soul. On the beauty of the flower, form, color, scent, and something else which is indefinable. The rose is not the only beautiful flower. There are hundreds of others. Most flowers are beautiful. There are degrees and kinds of beauty, that is all. The rose 
is among the first of flowers because of the richness of its color, the intensity of sweetness of its scent, and the grace and magnificence of its form.